ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு அனாதா அட்ரினோனோ ப்ராஜெக்ட் என்டர்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் ப்ராஜெக்ட் வி வில் கண்ட்ரோல் அ டிசி மோட்டர் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் அ பொட்டென்ஷியல் மீட்டர் ஆஸ் யூ கேன் சி வி கேன் இன்க்ரீஸ் த ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி டிசி மோட்டர் அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேட் வி கேன் ஆல்சோ ஸ்டாப் அ டிசி மோட்டர் யூசிங் பல்ஸ் வித் மோட்டிவேஷன் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் லைக் பைட்டிங் பாயிண்ட் ஐ வுட் சே in in a way that the dc motor halts it will not rotate in either direction as you see in the video when i rotate the potentiometer in the middle the wheel stops when i rotate the potentiometer to the clockwise the wheel rotates to the clockwise direction and furthermore it will increase the speed and if i'm bringing it back to the middle the motor achieves a biting point wherein it will stop in a way that uh, it can can rotate in clockwise or in an anti clockwise direction so it's a complete stop now and it's in a biting point as you can see the wheel is in a biting point and it's kind of like a dc motor for in a power down condition and now you can see as soon as i rotate the uh, potentiometer to the uh, anti clockwise direction the wheel rotates in the anti clockwise direction so let's begin building this project and i have here a um, couple of dc motors and spare wheels uh, that i bought from ebay and um, i think i will use this dc motor and i will for uh, for explaining this to you and i got a adreno no oh it's a generic one i have a genuine one we will use a genuine adreno no pcb and uh, Let's begin. I'll switch on my soldering station and let's heat it up. And the first thing I will do is that I need to solder the wires to the DC motor. And so that I can hook it up with the Adreno Uno. As usual, I have given the code to the project in the description below the video. Let's uh, clip off some hookup wires. It is always better to scrub off the wires. wire terminal uh, for a better uh, soldering addition i always scrub off the uh, uh, parts that i wanted to solder it gives me a clean solder and apart from that the solder lasts longer and this is the dc motor that we are going to use and i will scrub these terminals off as well so that the soldering will uh, catch on to the terminals nicely use a soldering plug when i do the soldering it kinds of keeps the soldering plugs fresh i mean not the plugs the soldering uh, fresh and also it prevents oxide formation and oxide uh, coatings uh, on the terminal joints which will affect the uh, component performance and also i have seen other advantages that whenever i use soldering plugs it catches the lead uh, onto the terminals terminals easily and it doesn't go dry the lead doesn't go dry
you can see the soldering has been done uh, clean and crisp since we have used the flux and we have scrubbed the terminals and for this project we will use L293D uh, IC it is a motor driver IC and it is a 16 pin IC and it's like a H bridge configuration IC you can control two motors and it is widely used to reverse and uh, forward the DC motors and for this project we will use not 100k in the video I have shown 100k but we use 10k potentiometer and a genuine Adreno Uno board as I showed you before and uh, let's wire this up and maybe I think we can uh, uh, go in time wrap I think we the best is to go by time wrap so that I won't waste your time as usual we go by time wrap and the circuit is given in the uh, link description below as well so you can always follow and if you have any doubts with the codes or with the circuit diagram you can always leave your comments and I'll be happy to assist you with let's go time wrap gentlemen And also one important thing I would like here like to mention here when you use the motor driver IC and uh, when you write the codes for the IC you should be very careful because it works on a kind of like edge bridge configuration and if you write the codes a little wrong you might end up shorting positive and negative voltage so if you guys want a uh, more information on how this how to use this LD293 I can provide I can post another video on the same because it's a whole new whole lot of stuff related to the high C it works on H bridge configuration wherein you can um, you can reverse the polarity to the DC motor through this high driver IC and if you if you write the code in such a way if the terminal from positive to negative can also be short circuited so please follow the data sheet and make sure or under try to understand how it works in the first place before you try writing the codes on because in my experience when I started I have burned a couple of ICs I don't want to want you guys to I mean I don't want it to happen to you guys so you just try to understand how it works if you want to know again if you want to know more information on this motor driver ic or if you want to know how it operates i can post another video and if you want you can ask in the comment section and i'll be happy happy to post you that video and always uh, disable the current flow before changing the state of the switches to ensure that the, that a momentary shot cannot be created as the switches flips so we have to make sure when we write the code we have to write the code in such a way that we disable the current flow And the speed of the uh, motor is controlled using pulse width modulation pin and 
it is the speed is altered by altering the duty cycle of the pulse width modulation and when the potentiometer is in the middle uh, like 100 units from the middle it will be uh, duty cycle will be controlled in such a way that the dc motor reaches a biting point wherein it won't be able to move forward or won't be able to move backward in such state it will be a kind of like braked state i won't say it is powered on and like uh, if you can understand the pulse width modulation better it will be a kind of um, a solid state uh, like it can't move forward it can't move backward it is in a it's in a decision making mode i would say uh, but technically we can't call that but for better understanding in a layman term i would say it's a, like a biting point um, so it stay, stops uh, so the motor stops and the when the potentiometer uh, is dialed in the middle getting couple of errors and found what the error was so always when you write the code make sure you don't put the characters in capital and small it does do it does make a big difference because the codes won't be able the compiler won't be able to understand if you change the capital letters and small letters Technically, it requires an external voltage to for the motor driver and for the motor as well. So I have pointed it to nine volts. But technically, in nine volts, it was the functions were very less and it was like less powered. So I peaked the voltage to 14 volt as you can see in the background. Now, if you see when I rotate the potentiometer to anti-clockwise direction, the motor, the wheel moves forward. And if I tune some more on the anti-clockwise direction, the speed increases. Vice versa, when I rotate the potentiometer in anti-clockwise direction, when I reach the middle, it attains a breaking point. And then when I rotate it to the uh, clockwise direction, the wheel turns uh, backwards. So since it's rotating fast, you can't see it which direction you can slow down you are you'll be able to see on which direction it is moving. So this is a nice little project that you can try to understand the functionalities of motor driver and uh, uh, it's a fun game like but please make sure that when you write the code you understand how the uh, motor driver works because when it works in a H bridge configuration if you write the code wrongly you might short your power supply the positive and the negative might short out so make sure check the data sheet and write the code this is all about it gentlemen thanks for watching my video as always subscribe and share and do comment thanks for watching we'll see you soon